Hi, my name is Jerry Neesmith with Neesmith Landscapes based out of Tallahassee, Florida. And today I want to talk to you about pavers and weeds. And directly I want to go to the homeowner and tell you how to prevent weeds in the future within the joints of your pavers. So let's cut to the point. So as you can see here with this medium sized paver, we have a weed growing. Well, if you look in here, you'll notice that I have sand up to this joint, but I have about a half inch gap. I have left room in here for this weed seed to come in here and germinate and to form. Now, if I'm to pull this out very slowly, you can see I didn't get much of the weed. This is gonna come back. Now, if you move over here, you'll see I have a smaller one in a joint that is properly filled, but I still grew a weed. So something we gotta remember is no matter who installs it, how good or how bad they are, if it's installed properly, if you do not maintain your pavers, if you do not keep this um, blown off, this surface blown off daily, or at least every other day, then these weeds are gonna come in and they're gonna grow no matter what. So it's like buying a car and never washing it and expecting it to look good. So these are investment. I know because we've been doing them for 23 years. If it's not properly maintained, you're gonna have lots of these weeds and it's gonna become a headache. So I meet with clients every week. And one of the main questions I'm always asked is, Jerry, why do I have weeds? Well, I just explained. If poor maintenance can create it, if your joints are not full all the way to the top of the paver, which is called a chamfer, then you're gonna get weeds. But even if it is, if not properly maintained, which is blown or even softly pressure washed uh, two times a year, you're still gonna get these little nuisances called weeds. So I hope that helps you out in the future and uh, good luck.